Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's recipe is about Scottish shortbread biscuits. And I first had these way back in 1993 when I came to London and I absolutely fell in love with them. And since then, these have become my favorite. And nowadays, this is more like a treat because you know, I can have all of this and I have to be really careful, especially with a cup of tea. And I learned this recipe from my Scottish neighbor. And so hopefully this will be as close to the original. So let's get started. It's a very simple recipe with just three ingredients. To start off, we need unsalted butter at room temperature, so it's soft. And in that, we add caster sugar. With electric whisk, we're going to beat it up till the butter is mixed together with the sugar and the sugar literally melted and it becomes light pale in color and becomes fluffy. This is very important because then goes in the third ingredient, which is the main part, which is the flour. Sift the flour through a fine sieve into the butter and sugar mixture and make sure you tap off on the edges. Now what this does is actually aids the flour very gently. It makes it a bit more lighter. So when you make the dough, it becomes like a very nice uh, light dough as such. The trick with the dough is that we, we will not overwork the dough. It needs to be a soft dough. So first with a spatula, you gently mix the cream, butter and sugar with the flour fold the flour gently into the butter mix don't need to overwork the dough a small pinch of salt always works like magic in any pastry so whenever you do desserts always add a very small pinch of salt really works well work the dough very gently mix the butter sugar and the flour till it become like a crumble kind of a texture and at this stage you need to now get your hands dirty so you pinch the dough between your index finger and your thumb you pinch the dough so it becomes a bit tight so at that same way you don't really overwork the dough and don't make it too hard and too tight it just gently comes together the softness of the butter which has been melted begins to hold the flour very well and what you will get is a, a very smooth or rather like a soft dough but still has some texture to it this does not need to rest, it will go straight away into a roasting tin. I've lined a roasting tin, a tart tin or a pie tin with the butter paper. This helps uh, the biscuits to come out easily once they are cooked. And with the edges of your finger, the tips of your finger, spread the dough evenly on the surface of the butter paper. It should probably be around just a shade over 1 cm in thickness. Make sure the edges are smooth and the top is equally spread and is even with the edge of a spatula go around the edges and have it really tightly tucked in now with the index finger and with the thumb you form pinches at the trim or the edge of the biscuit and with a very sharp knife you make incisions so totally cut them into eight don't cut it all the way through just deep incisions so when you cook it it will crack and open up evenly with a fork prick the shortbread biscuits this helps the biscuit to cook evenly and also for the air from the bottom to really come through the biscuit and make it light and cook it evenly so make sure you're very careful when you do your uh, when you prick the dough don't do it very deep the biscuit is ready it goes into a preheated oven at 150 degrees centigrade for approximately 35 minutes and what you will get at the end is a very light plain brown colored short crust biscuit sprinkle some caster sugar there's enough heat in the biscuit it is still hot and warm to slightly melt the sugar down and there you get a very simple delicious short crust biscuit tea and shortbread biscuit look at that crumble it really breaks down so well mm. it's just so good wow 